God of this city. You're the king of these people. You're the Lord of this nation. You are. You're the light in the darkness. You're the hope to the hopeless. You're the peace to the restless. You to you what that would do for us because think if you walked out your door and you never and, and you knew that you would never come back to this and that's what it was like and that's what we knew so we have to rebuild our lives and, and anything that anybody would do for us you can't say thank you enough thank you is not enough The church is already trying to do things for the, for the people in this community. We have uh, several members of the church that have been devastated by this flood, but uh, we've also began reaching out to their neighbors. They've been very concerned with their neighbors more than themselves. This lady right here where we're standing in front of her house has only $19,000 from FEMA. And that's not going to go very far at all. What sweat we can put into it will provide her the remaining to put her life back together. She's a widow. Uh, her neighbor is a widow with a son, 15-year-old son. Uh, there's several widows around that they're very close friends and we want to reach out to them but we just can't financially do it right now. But whatever. I don't know what the estimate is on here but these homes are devastating. so much devastation that it would be a great relief to the church here, which we're small and can't afford to do it all. But uh, if there's anything that anyone can do to provide a little bit of help, we would appreciate it. Still to be done in this city. 